Hello, children. I'm Granny. Would you like to hear a story? It's called Horace, the Ginger Caterpillar. Are you ready? Sit down then, and listen carefully. Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Penelope, who had a little cat called Tabitha. One day, when it was a lovely afternoon, Penelope decided to take her cat, Tabitha, for a walk in the country. As they were walking, they came across a ginger caterpillar who was happily sat on the branch of a tree munching on some green leaves. Well, I say, gasped Penelope, I have never seen a ginger caterpillar before. What is your name? she asked. The caterpillar replied. My name is Horace. Well, hello Horace, continued Penelope. You must be very hungry eating all those green leaves. Would you like to come to my house? for tea. Well, Horace didn't know what to say. He had never been asked to tea before, but he was delighted to be invited. Why, yes, I would love to come to your house for tea, he said. Then that is that, smiled Penelope. And off they went to Penelope's house for tea. Once they were at Penelope's house, Penelope made sure everyone was made to feel warm and comfortable. First she laid the tea time table, which was next to the fireplace with her favourite tablecloth upon which she placed a freshly made pot of tea and some delicious homemade strawberry and banana cake. Soon, Horace the caterpillar, Tabitha the cat and Penelope were warm and cosy sitting next to the fireplace eating a slice of cake and drinking tea. Horace was very well behaved and as a special treat Penelope found the nicest, juiciest green apple she could find and placed it on a plate for him to munch on. It had been a wonderful day which they had all thoroughly enjoyed. However, it was getting late and it was time for Horace to return home and get some sleep. Penelope, of course, accompanied Horace back home to his favourite tree where she had first spied him upon one of its luscious green branches. Taking Tabitha with her, she safely returned Horace where he could hide amongst the leaves again and feel safe enough to get some rest. At that, they bid their farewells and waved goodbye. We shall come and visit you soon, Horace, she smiled. Several days passed and it started to rain. 
I wonder how Horace is. It is very wet and windy. I do hope Horace is well. After a moment or two of wondering about Horace, she and Tabitha decided to wrap up warm and go to visit Horace to see if he was all right. As soon as they arrived at Horace's home in the tree, the rain dried up and out came the sunshine again. They looked for Horace, but at first they couldn't see him. Then Penelope found Horace. However, Horace was no longer eating leaves, but instead he was hanging from a tree branch, all snug and warmly tucked away inside a silky cocoon. Are you asleep, Horace? asked Penelope. He didn't reply. All they heard from Horace was a long and drawn out snore as he slept soundly in his cosy retreat spun of silken web. We'd better leave Horace to sleep, thought Penelope, and she returned home with her cat, Tabitha. Maybe, Tabitha she remarked gently to her cat. We can visit Horace again once he has fully recovered from his sleep. And at that Penelope and Tabitha decided not to disturb Horace any more. But instead they left Horace the caterpillar to get all the sleep he could. Time passed by, and it was two weeks before they decided to return to Horace and his hideaway cocoon in the tree. When they returned, however, there was no sign of Horace. Was he really gone? pondered Penelope. All that remained hanging from the tree was a cocoon deserted and left open as it hung on its own from the tree branch like an empty shell. Where's Horace? exclaimed Penelope with a loud voice. Just then she and Tabitha could hear a soft fluttering sound in the background. All of a sudden out popped Horace. Only he wasn't a caterpillar any more. Instead, Horace had changed into a butterfly and was a beautiful sunset orange colour. He flew and flew busily around Penelope and Tabitha with glee. Who are you? asked Penelope confused by the butterfly's sudden appearance. Why, I'm Horace. Don't you recognise me? he said. But Horace is a caterpillar, she said firmly. Yes, I know. I was. But, well, you see, now I'm this. I was so full up and so exhausted after all the delicious food you gave me. I needed something snug to sleep in. So when I returned, I made myself an extra cosy bed. I slept and I slept and I slept. And when I woke up, I found I could fly. I know, it's a mystery. Wow, said Penelope at last. You really are Horace, aren't you? 
but you are no longer a caterpillar. You are a bright and colourful butterfly, Horace. And I am very surprised that you have grown into something so beautiful in such a short matter of time. You really are a shining star. Horace was so happy and everyone felt joy because Horace had been transformed as if by magic. And he told Penelope and Tabitha that even though he wasn't a caterpillar anymore, he still wanted to remain friends with them forever. The End If you like this story and would like to hear more in the future, click on the like button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to know when our next story has arrived. Also, if you would like to purchase an illustrated copy of this story, please go to the link below. Bye bye for now and see you next time children. Bye bye.